Okay, let's talk about crawlers or web crawlers. Now in the era of LLM and AI applications, there comes a time, there always come a time where we need to use web crawlers to get the data quickly from different websites. Now there are different paid options that you can use, but this crawl for AI caught my attention and it's completely free. This simplifies the data extraction and the web crawling process and it makes the output suitable for large language models and AI applications and it's pretty easy. You can see the features that it has and then we are going to go to Visual Studio Code Editor and test it test this out ourselves in our own PC. One thing is certain that we are not going to use any API keys because it's completely free. We do have option to select the appropriate thing using an LLM such as OpenAI API, but we're not going to use that. We are just going to see the inbuilt things, what things are available here and how we can use this free tool. Now I've worked with projects where uh, I had to build this entire pipeline of extraction from a website. It was, for example, a government website. You want to extract the government websites, the entire uh, contents of the government website, do fine tuning for a chatbot and deploy that chatbot on their website. So that was an exercise. The first step of that was to do the crawling of the website. But this crawl for AI makes it so easy and it's so intuitive. Uh, and it's completely free so you can test this out yourself and there is no way that you won't like this so let's get started so crawl for ai is completely free and open source okay it's blazingly fast and performance and uh, outperforming many paid services llm friendly output formats so we can have json we have clean html we have markdown formats supports crawling multiple urls simultaneously that's good to know you can extract and return all media tags okay Extracts all internal and external links. Extracts metadata from the page. Custom hooks for authentication, headers, and page modification before crawling. User agent customization. So this is an agent which crawls and there are different sort of parameters that you can uh, give to this agent. So we have different parameters such as these parameters and we will definitely see uh, each one of these parameters. But we can take snapshots of the page. That's pretty cool. So we i've set up a code where you can see you can take a snapshot of the page that you are crawling and that's pretty fun tell me uh, your web crawler does that we can execute multiple custom javascripts before crawling uh, in order to go to a different uh let's say we have a calendar where we need to select something and then we need to download so you can do this sort of of uh, scripts generate structured output without llm using json css extraction strategy so this is an important strategy this removes the dependency of llms for extraction process because let's say you are trying to find or pre-train a model you require a huge amount of data and using llms to selectively uh, download or fetch data from a website that is going to be too costly so this is a free option and they have the JSON CSS extraction strategy. Using that, you can free of cost download so many as much data as possible for your fine tuning or pre tuning exercise. And it's pretty free and easy. So, various chunking strategies, topic based regex, uh, we can see sentence and more. Advanced extraction strategies such as cosine clustering, we have LLMs and more. CSS selector support for precise data extraction so we can select CSS elements uh, different CSS elements for the downloads we can pass uh, pass instruction and keywords to refine the extraction uh, proxy support session management asynchronous architecture this is an important thing we have asynchronous architecture and therefore the breakdown is less and it's easy for the crawler to take your breath and continue the downloads now the installation is pretty simple you can go uh, to your browser or to your or to the Visual Studio Code Editor and just say pip install crawl for AI. But they have this uh, documentation page where you can go to this installation and they show we have three options. The basic installation is pip install crawl for AI and then you can do the Playwright install. Now Playwright is another amazing library that is used for testing of web uh, browsers, web, web applications and that's pretty fun. Uh, we'll do a different video for the playwright now installing with 
PyTorch, we can do this command. Installing with transformers, we can do this command. But I've decided to go for the full installation, so pip install crawl for AI. Now in the Visual Studio Code Editor, what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, created a, a directory uh, known as testing crawler and there I've created a new environment so conda create dash n then I say crawl uh, I'm gonna use uh, let's say python 3.11 and dash y so using this command you can create an environment and once you have created that environment you can say conda activate crawl so you will be inside this crawl element now once uh, you are in the crawl element what you can do is you can do the installations so you can do pip install crawl for ai and then you can do all so this is one installation that you need to do this will install everything i have already installed the specs therefore uh, i see that it is already required a requirement already met so the next step we can do is uh, this one we can do this and if required you can install you have to install torch as well pytorch so pytorch install you go to google and you can say start locally here then you need to select the appropriate os that you're working on the appropriate package that you want to use uh, so for example stable i'm on I'm windows pip uh, python let's say cuda and this is the code that you need to put uh, that's it so let's go back and once you have those installations you are good to go so first example is let's say the usage one here so we have this uh, library and we have this class here async web crawler this is an amazing class we just define an async function here and we load the uh, create an instance of async crawl uh, async web crawler as a crawler here and then we just pass this is just a basic run there's nothing that uh, we can see as an output here but let's say python usage 1.py now you can see that in the logs we see that warming up the async crawler uh, async web crawler is ready to crawl okay so this is the example of how to get started let's look at usage 2 here what we have done is we have added these things we have added these results so result is crawler dot a run which is async run and there are different parameters that you can put so word count threshold extraction strategy chunking bypass cache but we'll go and have a look at those but a run we put in the url here print out uh, 500 characters here so let's run this we can see that we have the output here pretty good let's look at uh, example three uh, here we take we are trying to take a snapshot of the uh, url here so we start up the uh, crawl for ai we import as import crawler this is a synchronous run not an async run but let's see the output we save this as a snapshot 1.png and then we run this let's say usage3.py now let's initializing it's going and it's done you can see this uh, screenshot one and we have this entire screenshot of the web page that we are trying to crawl this is an amazing feature i like this usage for we have jss selection so for example we can define a schema here we can define a schema here so this is a schema name is news article base and this these are the fields and you can run it with a sync crawler and put in the url this is a user agent you're going to use mozilla or apple webkit or chrome an extraction strategy is json extraction strategy is this and extracted data is this and we just print it out okay so we just print out the first uh, five articles and we can run python usage4.py and this will run the first or print the first five things that you it was able to find usage5 uh, we have a completely different thing now i'm going to show you javascript how how the javascripts are executed for example you can go and have a look at this uh website of this link which is the github of microsoft typescript and you can see there are a bunch of commits here so what this uh, code is going to do is that it is going to extract all these commits here and then it's going to go to the next page 
and then extract all the commits there so the process of clicking of next button here is inbuilt in as a javascript code and that is pretty fun so we can see that we are trying to print uh, the first uh, crawl the first three pages and you can see the results here so crawl usage 5.py it's crawling it's warming up the async crawler and it's ready to go it's crawling and you can see page one found 35 commits it goes to the next page uh, page two it found 35 commits and uh, page three it found 35 commits so using this you can do this type of automation as well here you can extract the h2 css selector as well now you get the idea there are so many examples that you can uh, go through so if you go to the documentation you can see that these are the different examples that we have but let me go to the important thing that we were trying to discuss the parameters here so the a run method which we have seen uh, here this a run method has different parameters and let's look at the each of the parameters so the first parameter is the url which is the url that you're trying to crawl then the next parameter is word count threshold this is the minimum number of words that a block must contain to be considered meaningful so normally we put 10 here extraction strategy there are different extraction strategies and uh, it actually depends on what type of uh, sort of things that you're trying to do but we can look at for example there's a cosine strategy here chunking strategies it depends on the different chunking strategies like nlp sentence chunking uh, regex chunking and uh, there is no requirement of any value to be put when you run this but there are different options uh, for you to know now we can bypass the cache as well we can select the csr the css so uh, what kind of a tag you are trying to download for example we are just trying to see the article content then you can put this uh, div dot article content and this is only going to fetch the article content provided the website was correctly and beautifully made otherwise you can do the entire uh, extraction and the rest and later you can do the sorting and filtering screenshot amazing feature screenshot true then you can get a screenshot user agent is the agent for the http request we have the mozilla here we have apple webkit and a, a chrome and safari as well verbose is true uh, you will get all the outputs and it's pretty good to see there are other parameters as well as you can see but this is amazing this it's free you know it's free and it's so advanced and the authors are improving the, the quality you can go to this uh, you can go to this playground and open it collab as well and there you can test it out uh, directly on the Google collab so for the example you can see that this is the basic starting this is the starting of the crawler you can use JavaScript uh, and uh, CSS selectors here uh, so this is a CSS selector here so this is a JavaScript part you can go and extract structured data using open ai you can use pydantic formats here and you can use the open ai gpt 40 here you can use the tokens here and to get the exact thing that you want but this could be very costly so let's not use this for now until and unless you can get a free llm like a login llm uh, for sure so we have seen that javascript uh how would you use that we extract the different commits from this page a microsoft typescript page and that's all that is pretty amazing so you can see uh, another one is schema we can define the schema and then we get the outputs and if you compare the speed with a paid service uh we can see that we have fire crawl which uh, took about 4.39 seconds crawl for ai simple crawl is 4.22 and with javascript execution is nine uh, seconds and you can see it's pretty cool so if you want to use this on your project this is a go-to item for the first step of your fine-tuning exercise crawlers crawlers are essential and uh, it's pretty good the output is llm friendly and it's pretty amazing so use it 
if you are trying to build your own data pipeline for your fine tuning exercises you can check out this video if you want to learn about liquid foundation models you can check out this video i would like to thank my patreons for your constant support in keeping me motivated to publish these videos i will see you in the next one bye